In less than a week, a football field sized ball of rock called 2005 YU55 is going to pass between the Earth and the Moon. And in astronomical terms, that's missing the Earth by the a hair's edge. You, can, you can't see this rock with your eyeball, it's going to be too small, but you can find it with an iPad app called Sky Safari. This is the pro version of Sky Safari, which has every asteroid and comet ever discovered included in its, in its database. To find 2005 YU55, I've got the time set up to November 8th, which is the date of its closest passage. We're viewing from here from San Francisco. And to find it in the sky, I'm going to tap the search button and enter the name of our asteroid. Okay, so now I'm going to tap the search button, and there's all the facts and figures about our asteroid. To show it in the sky, tap the center button. And that's where 2005 YU55 is going to be passing overhead. Now you can't see this thing with your eyes, it'll be too faint, but you can see it in a decently sized backyard telescope. You can also do that with Sky Safari, as well as a wireless accessory called SkyFi, which creates a wireless bridge between our iPad and the telescope. To do that, I'm going to bring up our telescope controls, tap the connect button, and that blue bullseye represents where the telescope is pointing in the sky. So to point it over our asteroid, we've already selected it, we're just going to tap the go to button. And now the telescope is moving to where 2005 YU55 is passing by in the sky. For all of you Ioptron telescope owners out there, I'd like to point out that we're using the brand new USB version of SkyFi that'll be up this Christmas. This is the first time Ioptron owners will be able to control their SmartStar mouse with an iPad, and it's all because of the USB version of SkyFi.